It's about 70 degrees. It's the 25th of January. My stores are okay. But I'm feeding just a little bit to really push their population because I want to start grafting in a week or a couple weeks. I went back to get my gear on. It's overcast. And when it's overcast, even though they're flying because there's a little bit of sun and 70, they still don't like their hives open that much, even if I'm giving them treats. Get her done. When I cut my bags, I use this line because that way, if you cut here, you can't refill them. If you cut here, you can refill them. These are like really good little sewing nippers. You don't even need much of a hole. You need enough to just let them start sucking it out and they'll line up for it. If you make it really huge, you might stand the chance of leaking. These are gallon bags. They've just filled their traps with hive beetle. It's really amazing. And so I'm just not gonna mess with them too much because it is a little bit cool. And give them something. Now the air bag, that air, it'll seep out give it a little push it kind of seeps out a little bit faster but once they get on it and the only reason I'm syrup feeding is that I have temperatures above 50 you attempt to feed syrup lower than 50 they're not gonna take it it's cold syrup and they're cold they don't like taking it I'm not worried about that old pollen patty. They're bringing in huge amounts of pollen right now. I'm just gonna wanna get them moving. So 
I'm leaving my gloves on. That sun just keeps going in and out and in and out. And just that slight temperature change can merely make them decide to come out and greet you. definitely still have store. This box is probably the extra box. Still working propolis. And it doesn't really matter which way you lay it as long as it doesn't. If you rock it back and forth they tend to get out of the way. Someone's stinging me. See I'm glad I have my gloves on. The sun just went in. Okay. Yeah, there's even some syrup out. They got a little bit of a pollen patty left. There's their syrup. They'll find that soon enough. That's the girls that are just up top. The good part are still flying. I'm just close them back up. I love the camera. Mostly times when you are without equipment, it's probably the sunny days. If you've never gone without equipment before, don't go out in rain. Don't go out in the cool, don't go out in the cloud cover and think that you're going to go in that hive with nothing. Okay, got a couple more over here. She's the smallest in my yard. She was a nuke. That I had to kind of baby along. She seems to be doing just fine. However, I need to feed her. particular hive is a little bit hot where she was when I was putting just even pollen patties on her. Of course that was the little cooler days. Sometimes you got to go in there and take your hits. Make sure you're covered. Enormous. You don't want it leaking out on them. You want them to line up and take it down. Let's see how she acts. This is a, well, it's a bottom that I use as a feeding shim. So, they're a little bit, I can hear them. They're going to stand on that, and that air is going to come out. I just 
just don't want to upset them too badly. They got enough bees to festoon on the inner cover. They're doing okay. And she's right on it. They're right on it. I don't lose lose it. I don't want to bring it in just yet. It won't stick that way. Okay, so the last hive that I just went to put something on, she did. She wasn't there anymore. Call it what you will, dead out, dwindled. There was no queen, no big pile of dead bees, so she probably just dwindled and went queenless, but she never made it known, because, well, usually they kind of hit you in the head. So, I'm feeding. That's my vlog for today. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, click the bell, so when I put up a new video, you get a notification. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, happy beekeeping.